Hello goblins! It's Chris Eldritch Pipes and I've been back from the UK pipe show for a couple of hours had a chance to wind down uh, had some tea and relax for a bit but I've got some things to show you I've got some pipes that are available I want to show you all of those I got the new Four Horsemen box set together I'm going to want to show you that it's super cool um, I got to just do a little quick shout out um, chap that I met at the pipe show last year um, he waltzed along uh, Chris I think his name is brought me some Cthulhu comics Cthulhu tales look at that from Boom Studios. I'm actually familiar with Boom Studios. Um, there was, I was trying to remember the series that I bought. It was Cthulhu related. It was largely concerned with uh, Niall Aphetep trying to track someone down. I forget now. It was a little while back. But, I mean, I'm Thrilled to have some more to read, so that was really cool. But here we are, okay. The new Four Horsemen box set. Twisted. Uh, got a fair amount of uh, attention at the show. But I'm going to show you them all now. If you've seen, uh, if you've seen these before, we tend to do uh, three or four box sets a year. Three or four. Um, so it's it's the the pipe makers are myself, uh, Ian Walker of Northern Briars, uh, Mike from, from Blake Mar, and Chris Asquith. And it's a four pipe box set. Uh, this theme. It, we rotate who chooses the theme, and uh, this time it was Ian's, and he chose the theme of uh, Twisted Shank, or Bowl, or some combination thereof. So, first up, Chris Asquith's Twisted Bowl. In Chris's usual uh, precise shaping, but he's kind of rendered a, a kind of a brushed organic finish to this one. So it's it's a very understated version. So it's very nearly, you know, if you were like just smoking this like this, it's just like very, no one would guess there was anything, you know, a little bit, a bit wild about it. So Chris's pipe represents one end of the, of the scale of the, of the pipes we've got here. So just nice, subtle bowl finish. That's Chris Asquith's. Lovely piece. Slightly large, because he, he Chris tends towards the smaller pipe, um, in my experience. Not like Ian Walker. <laughs> who turns towards the larger pipe. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I 
I mean, it speaks for itself, but just some lovely straight grain, some just super clean briar, so natural finish. Working the, the twist into the stem on a saddle, uh, a saddle stem. Some natural bird's eye on the rim. Quite a substantial chamber on this guy. <laughs> Quite a substantial chamber. <laughs> but those of you that know Ian's pipes, I mean he can make small pipes, he does make small pipes, but he tends to the larger pipe, the, the more substantial pipe. This is just lovely, lovely version. How great is that? Uh, with Red Cumberland stem on that fellow. Now if you saw my this week's pipe video, you'll have seen mine, so I'll, I'll just quickly show this one, I won't linger on it. Uh, you've seen it. Uh, mine's a tall pot. I think to be just pot, it'd be something like that, I think, in, in, in balance. This is a slightly, slightly taller. Uh, in a sandblast finish. My twist goes onto the onto the stem and as a saddle stem. Nice medium sandblast. Some good detail on the straight grain, and uh, the ring grain is a uh, look at it all over the place. And the uh, violet wave resin. Like I said, you've seen that one, uh, but <laughs> without doubt, uh, the pipe that blew us all out of the water <laughs> So Mike from uh, Blake Mar. Now, if you've met Mike, and if you know Blake Mar Briars, you know that they uh, he he tends really towards just very classical, very standard renditions of of shapes. That's kind of what what Blake Mar does. But never underestimate Mike. His mind, his creativity is still is switched on, and uh, this pipe this pipe just got all the attention. Well, what a stunning piece of work. Again, like this, just natural, smooth piece of flawless briar. Amazing. Yeah. I'm going to have to make one of Ian said the same, he said, I'm going to have to make one of those myself. And I was thinking to my, I think I'm going to have to make one of these myself. It's just such a, what a piece. 
What a piece. So there you go. Mike, just for the win. I mean, I think they're all great pipes, but um, that's something special. Well done, Mike. Never underestimate you. So, that is the Four Horsemen Twisted set. If you're interested, send me an email. Let me just get the lid on you so you're nice and snug. There you go. All right. Now. These are the pipes that I have available. I will uh, try and list them. I'll list them down below and when or if they sell, I'll, I'll mark them as sold. So you can just check the list below to see what remains. Yeah. And see how it goes. So. Strawberry in a Cordovan Sand Blast uh, with black resin. So just a nice, classy strawberry. And it's just a kind of medium sand blast there. Plenty of detail going on. Saddle stem. So, a sun blasted strawberry. Strawberry. <laughs> I couldn't figure out which way it was up just then. Tulip in the fingerprint rustication. I got a lot of great comments about this rustication at the show. Orange Cumberland stem and just a, a deep, a deep chocolate uh, stain on this guy. Number two, tulip, pipe number three, author in a black rustication, the black um, fingerprint rustication. Blue resin Cumberland. Blue Cumberland resin. Stem blue Cumberland resin. Super curvy. Really nice pipe. Very fond of the author. Sometimes I wonder, if, in terms of like just sheer pleasure of making, the prints and the author probably come up tops. I can't decide out of the two of them which I prefer more, the prints or the author. But there's a lot going for the author, I think. But there's a prince. Just its little squat roundness. I find very pleasing. 
This guy is uh, Black Sandblast. Which just tends to be the way it goes sometimes. I suppose I could have gone with the dark, the dark brown with the olive. But then, I don't know, sometimes you just get these ideas that with certain colours a brown will or won't match and I always feel that black with the olive, I don't know. Maybe it's just the keeping the contrast high. Again, nice medium contrast blast. I've lost count of where we're at. The prince was number four. Number five then. Sleek Dublin. In black finger print. Actually this is this is a slightly wider version. This was before I went very fine. And it, it kind of earned the name fingerprint rustication. So this is a slightly broader interpretation of, of the same effect. But some gnarly plateau on top. With the blue Cumberland stem again. Sleek Dublin. What I say? Five. That was number five. Number six. Sandblasted author. In a black sandblast with the olive cumberland. Pretty rugged blast on this. Sometimes that's just the way it goes. But yeah, feels rugged. I know on camera the um, the olive can come across as pretty close to yellow. I guess it's more of a it's more of a mustard, like an English mustard. <laughs> yeah, Black Sandblast author number six, and then finally. I haven't suddenly uh, manifested any new pipes I didn't know about. Is the Horn of Lost Souls. Uh, yeah, so that's the Horn of Lost Souls. Heavily carved in a contrast black and green blast and a Moss Cumberland stem. He's pretty epic. There you go, he's number seven, Horn of Lost Souls. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Okay, there you go. Those are all the pipes available. Again, if you're interested in any, any of those, 
The email address is devilsreef at gmail.com or if you, if you don't swing that way, you can find me on uh, Instagram, eldritch.pipes. And you can also find me on um, Facebook, just as Chris Kelly. But uh, you'll know which Chris Kelly is the guy in corpse paint. That's my Facebook avatar. All right, that's it. Um, yes, as I said last time, I have every reason to be back next week, so I'll see you then. So till then, take it very easy, your loyal pipe maker.